Today on What to Do, we are working on a Cushman Hauler 800. Uh, this is the machine right here. So what I'm told about this machine is that the lights are not working and that it's not the light bulbs. They believe it's something in the wiring. And uh, this particular unit is very difficult to get the front of this machine apart. So. Um, I like to start things from the beginning, even though somebody else gives me their own assumption. So basically, what I did was, you know, my first thought was, okay, um, it seemed like they knew, they were pretty sure that it was the wiring and such. Um, and you would think somebody would have checked the bulbs and all that. So you, first thing I was going to do was start ripping the whole front of this thing apart and seeing if we had a, a bad wire somewhere. But I'm glad I didn't. Anyway, so we're going to cover... Uh, in this tutorial how to take a multimeter and just test the headlights starting from the light back to the ignition and this way it uh, kind of help find your problem what's going on with the lights and where that short would be got our multimeter here and here's our light underneath of here the front tire it would plug in up there but you can see I already pulled the bulb out now you want to take one side of your meter and attach it to this side of your light and take the negative side attach it to that side now the lights will operate when the key is turned the accessory key is turned on the cart and that meter should go up to I don't know why we're at point two here but that should go up to almost 13 and a half volts or so. Let me turn this key and turn that up. All right, key's on. And there we go. So right there, I'm really glad I didn't go ripping this whole front end apart here to take all this off to get in here. Um, so that's telling me that the power is already coming from the switch to here. So the only other thing it could be is what they told me it wasn't is the bulb. I pull the bulb out of here and sure enough, as soon as I look at it, if I can get focus here, you can see it's not even fully attached in there. Now, I saw that when I originally took the bulb out of here and I said, well, I gotta check the wiring anyway because they told me it's not the bulbs, it's something in the wiring. That, But it can't be anything in the wiring because I have my power here. And this bulb is bad, so that's it. I would, uh, I'm not even gonna bother checking anything else any farther. Our power's there, the bulb is bad. You got a bad bulb, people. Anyway, that's it. If you need to know how to test your lights with a multimeter, that's how you do it. And also, don't just jump to the, uh, you know, conclusions. When your lights aren't working and go ripping things apart, take a second and start right from the source and trace it back, even if everybody else is telling you it's something else. All right, see you next time.